السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. In previous class, we have learned about four things in lesson four. What are they? First one is harful jar. Harful jar, fi and ala. This is the particle of jar. Particle of preposition. What it will do? It will give the kasra to the following noun. In grammatical term, this letter will be called harful jar and the following noun will be called as a ismul majroor, the noun which is given kasra, majroor, ismul majroor. We learn this as a first thing. Okay. Then secondly, we learnt a new question word which is where. Aina. Aina means where. Okay. Thirdly, we learnt about the masculine proper noun will have tanween and feminine proper noun will not have tanmin. Okay, then lastly, we have learned irrational nouns also having gender in Arabic. Commonly in English, we only uh, classify whether it's masculine or uh, feminine for those rational things like uh, man or uh, animals, birds, we can classify as this is a masculine and that is a feminine. But we don't classify door, car uh, as a masculine word or a feminine word. But in Arabic, irrational things such as car, bike, home, a playground, school, everything having a gender. How to identify? By default, all irrational nouns are masculine, except those noun ending with ta will consider as a feminine. Consider as a feminine. And sorry, one more thing we have learned, pronoun. One, two, three, four, fifth is pronoun. Hua means he, here means she. Okay, so four new things we have learned in previous lesson. First one is harful jar. Second one is a, a new question word, which is aina. Aina is where. Thirdly, masculine proper noun will have tanmin and feminine proper noun will not have tanmin. Fourthly, all irrational things having a gender in Arabic. And last, hua and here are pronouns, which means here uh, he or she. Hua means he, masculine. Here means she. Okay. Let's do a thumbprint on this lesson. Tamarino. Tamarino is a exercises. Ajib anil as ilatil atiyati. Ajib answer anil as ilatil atiyati. About the following questions. Ajib means answer and about al as ilatu. Al as ilatu. And also one of the harful jar. That's why we are giving kasra here. Okay. And is also one of the harful jar. That's why we are giving kasra here. As ilatu questions, plural. Eh? Sualun is a singular question. Sual. As ilat is a question. Atiyati is a plural. Sorry. Uh, Atiyati is a following. Answer the following questions. Okay. What are the questions? Ainal kitabu. Ainal kitabu. Where is the book? Where is the book? How can we find the answers? 
Huwalal maktabi. It is. But it, there is no such a translation in uh, Arabic. You have to use either he or she. Kitab is a masculine. That's why we have to use he. He is a huwa. But you can translate it as a it. It is on the table. Huwa alal maktabi. So ayn al kitabu huwa alal maktabi. You can answer it. Huwa alal maktabi. You have to say maktabi because ala is harful jar. And second question, Aina Muhammadun. Aina Muhammadun. It's a masculine proper noun. So we have to give a tanwin. Aina kitabu. Why kitabu? Is it the feminine proper noun? No, because of alif lam. We have learned right. If any words start with alif lam, then you should not give tanwin. Those words doesn't start with alif lam, uh, you can give tanmin. Basically, nakira will have tanmin, ma'rifa will not have tanmin. So this word is ma'rifa. So we have to give single dhamma only. Aina kitabu Aina Muhammadun, because it's a masculine proper noun. Aina Muhammadun. Aina Muhammadun. Huwa fil ghurfati. He is in the room. He is in the room. Third question. Aina sa'atu. Aina sa'atu. Aina where? Sa'atu is a watch. Where is the watch? Aina sa'atu. Hiya ala sariri. Why hiya? Sa'atu is a feminine word. In Arabic, sa'atu. Watch is considered as, regarded as a feminine noun. So we are using she. Hiya. Here, ala sariri, it is on the bed. Ala sariri is because of ala is harful jar, we are giving sariri. In the first lesson, we have uh, learned as a as sarirun, or sarirun, or as sariru, with, a dom, with dhamma. Because default haraka is dhamma, but when this noun proceeded with uh, harful jar, we have to give the kasra. Aina, aina yasirun, aina yasirun, masculine proper noun. So we have to give tanwin. Aina yasirun, where is the yasir? Okay, fine, let's find the answer. Aina yasir, huwa fil hammami. He is in the bathroom. Hammam means bathroom. Huwa fil hammami, he is in the bathroom. The next question, fifth. Aina amina tu, don't give tanwin. It's because feminine proper noun will not take tanmin. It will take only single haraka. Aina amina tu. Where is amina? Let's find out the answer. Aina amina tu. Here fil matubahi. But when you write, you can change the words. Uh, it's up to you. As long as you can answer correctly, then fine. Here fil matubahi. Here she. Amina is feminine, so we are using here, here. Here, fil matubahi. She is in the kitchen. She is in the kitchen, matubah, kitchen. Ah, now, we are using hamzatul istifham. Question mark hamza. A aminatu fil ghurfati. A aminatu fil ghurfati. Is Amina is in the room? No, I'm mean, just now we have learned that Amina is in the kitchen. So, La. How to answer this? La. I have already mentioned don't use single word to answer. Okay. La. Here. Fil. Matbahi. Fil. Matbahi. Fil matbahi. La. Here fil matbahi. No. She is in the kitchen. Ayasirun fil matbahi. La. Huwa fil hammami. Ayna yasir huwa fil hammam. So. Ayasirun. Ayasirun. 
film na ito ba kay? Is Yasir in the kitchen? Again, no. La. Hua. He. He means she. Hua. Fil hammami. Hammam is a bathroom. Hua fil hammami. Next. Man fil gurfati. Who is in the room? Who is in the room? Man who? Man is man fil gurfati. Who is in the room? Muhammad. Correct? Muhammad. Muhammad fil ghurfati Muhammadun fil ghurfati Muhammadun fil ghurfati Muhammadun fil ghurfati Waman next question you see here ninth question Woman fil hammami and who is in the bathroom? Yasir, correct? Yasirun fil hammami. Yasirun. You have to give double dhamma, okay? Because Yasir is a masculine proper noun. Yasirun fil hammami. Man fil hammami. Yasirun fil hammami. Who is in the bathroom? Yasir is in the bathroom. Okay. Next. Mada ala al maktabi. Mada ala al maktabi. Wa mada ala al sarin. Mada ala al maktabi. What is on the bed? Sorry, on the table. Maktabi means. Table, ala on harful jar. This is ismul majrur. We have to give kasra. Mada ala al maktabi. The book, correct? Al kitabu, al kitabu, ala al maktabi. Ala al Maktabi. Al-Kitabu al-Maktabi. Uh, okay. In the first lesson, we have learned to about uh, is uh, nominal sentence. Nominal sentence will have two parts, right? One is Mubutada. Another one is Khabar. Mubutada should be start with Ma'arifa, okay? The Mubutada should be Ma'arifa. And uh, if khabar is single word, we have to give khabar as a uh, nakira. So if you write kitabun alal maktabi, which is wrong. If you write kitabun alal maktabi, that will be wrong. Because mubutada should be ma'arifa. Ma'arifa means it should start with alif lam. Okay, just before we have start Muhammad, right? Do we need to start Muhammad, Al Muhammad, no need? Because Muhammad is already a specific name. Uh, it's a, spe a name for a specific person. Okay? So when you read, uh, when you write Kitab, Qalam, Sarir, uh, if it is in the Mubutada, you have to give Alif Lam. Mada ala sariri. What is on the bed? Asatu, correct? Don't write saatu, right? Asatu, because mubutada should be marifa. Asatu ala sariri. Ala sariri. The watch is on the bed. Okay. Next, exercise two. Exercise two. 
Yakra waktub. Read and write. Yakra. Read and write. Ma adabati ma'avid. Dabati. Dabati awakhiril kalimati. Ending of the words. Kalimat is a words. Awakhir ending. That means you have to mention the haraka of the at the end. You have to mention the haraka at the end of the word. Okay, basically they are um, testing you whether you can identify the harful jar or not. Because if any noun preceded with harful jar, you have to give kasra. By default, if no noun, then you have to give bamma. Correct? So al madrasatu, default haraka is bamma, al madrasatu. But here you can't say madrasatu. Why? Ah, fi is here. So fi is harful jar. So we have to say fil madrasati, fil madrasati in the school. Madrasa means school. Okay. Not only Arabic school. Madrasa means it's any schools. Uh, it can be a secular school or whatever school. Okay. It's a common uh, school. It can be a secular or religious school. Fil baiti. Fil baiti. Why baiti? It's because of fi harful jar. Uh, here baitu. Why baitu? Dhamma is a default language. There is no uh, changes needed here. Al ghurfatu default. Al hammamu default haraka. Fil matbahi. Why? Fi is harful jar. Fil matbahi. Kitchen in the kitchen. Urfa is room, hammam, bathroom. Al, uh, al maktabu. Al maktabu default harka. Table. Al al maktabi on the table. Harful jar. So it's a ismul majroon. Al al kursiyi. Harful jar. Ismul majroon. So we give kasra. Al al kursiyi. As sariru default language. As sariru. Alal kitabi. Alal kitabi. On the book. Fil masjidi. Why? Fi is harful jar. Okay. Let's read together. Al madrasatu. Fil madrasati. Fil baiti. Al baitu. Al ghurfatu. Al hammamu. Fil matubakhi. Al maktabu, al al maktabi, al al kursiyi, shada, al al kursiyi, al sariru, al al kitabi, fil masjidi. So, if you read uh, any word which is default language, you have to put the default language gamma. But if the noun is preceded with uh, fi or ala, which is harful jar, then you have to give kasra. That's what they are practicing, giving a practice in this exercise. And third one. Yakra waktub. Read and write. Yakra waktub. Read and write. Atwalibu. You see, Mubutada always start with ma'rifa. Atwalibu is ma'rifa because it started with ariflam. Mubtada means subject. Khabar is information about the subject. Atwalibu fil jamiyati. Jamia means university. Jamia means university. The student is in the university. The student is in the university. Second. In, uh, you can identify the numbers one, two, two is a sliding line, then one arc, three, double arc, four is you can put the W standing W, okay, five is kind of hearts, heart is artin, you can put the artin upside down, six is opposite to two, this is right hand side. If you put sliding down line and uh, 
left hand side arc which will be 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 arrajulu arrajulu the man arrajulu the man fil masjidi fil masjidi in the mosque the man is in the mosque third one aina tajiru aina tajiru why is a alif lam so we have to give single dhamma don't give tanwin aina tajiru where is the merchant where is the merchant huwa fi dukkani dukkan means shop dukkan means shop he is in the shop he is in the shop al qalamu ala al maktabi al qalamu the pen is on the table the pen is on the table aina zainabu aina zainabu where is the zainab you see here zainab is a feminine noun that's why is a single dhamma okay in Zainab, where is Zainab? Here, fil ghurfati. She is in the room. She is in the room. Aina waraku. Waraku means paper. Waraku means paper. Aina waraku. Where is the paper? Hu alal maktabi. Alal maktabi. Ismul majroor. It is. But we have used who a masculine pronoun. Why? Alwaraku is a masculine word. Okay? Because it doesn't have any ta. Who alal maktabi? It is on the table. Okay? Seven, eight. Seven is V. Eight is up, V upside down. Nine is nine. Ten is one dot. Ainal Mudarrisu. Ainal Mudarrisu. Where is the teacher? Huwa fil fasli. He is in the classroom. Fasl means classroom. Huwa fil fasli. He is in the classroom. Because of fee, we are giving kasra here. Ainal Mudarrisu. Where is the Mudarrisu? Is a teacher. Mudarrisu. Where is the teacher? Who are Phil Fusli? He is in the classroom. Aina Yasirun. Aina Yasirun. Yasirun is a masculine, masculine proper noun. So we have to give Yasirun. Aina Yasirun. Where is the Yasir? Who are Phil Mirhad? Mirhad. Hammam is bathroom. Hammam is a bathroom. Mirhal is toilet. Mirhal is toilet. Okay. Who fill Mirhadi? He's in the toilet. He's in the toilet. Ashamsu wal kamaru fi samai. Ashamsu, the sun. Wal kamaru and the moon. Fi samai. In the sky. Sama means sky. Fissamai, because of fi is harmful jar, we are giving Fissamai. Ashamsu wal kamaru fissamai. The sun and the moon is in the sky. Man fil fasli, man, who is in the classroom? Fasli, because of fi. Man fil fasli, who is in the classroom? No need to answer because it's a read and write exercise. Shall we read together? Yakra waktub. Read and write. Atwaribu fil jamiati. The student is in the university. Arrajulu fil masjidi. The man is in the mosque. Ainatajiru. Where is the merchant? Wafid dukkani. He is in the shop. Al qalamu ala al maktabi. The pen is on the table. The pen is on the table. 
Aina Zainabu, where is Zainab? Here fil ghurfati, she is in the room. Aina al waraqu, where is the paper? Huwa al maktabi, it is on the table, it is on the table. Since waraqu is masculine word, we have used masculine proper noun. Aina al mudarrisu, where is the teacher? Huwa fil fasli, he is in the classroom. Aina Yasirun, where is the Yasir? Huwa fil mirhab, he is in the toilet. Ashamsu wal qamaru fi samai, the sun and moon is in the sky. Man fil fasli, who is in the classroom? Okay. Alif means A, okay, section A. Here we are going to practicing the masculine proper noun and the feminine proper noun with the endings, with the endings. Why with the endings? Masculine proper noun should end with tanween. But feminine proper noun should end with single dhamma. Okay, just read together. But make sure you are reading the with the proper ending. Okay, let's read together. Nothing new, just reading the names. Muhammadun. Muhammadun. Aminatu. Aminatu. Khalidun. Zainabu. Hamidun. Fatimatu. Fatima, not T. Don't read as a Fatima is T. So Fatima is T. Okay. Usually, when you write in English, we say Fatima, okay? Fatima, right? It's not ta, it's a ta, okay? So hereafter, if any of your friends or relatives or family members having a name with Fatima, don't call it as Fatima, okay? Fatima, fa, okay? Fatima tu, Yasirun. Maryamu Ammarun Aisha tu Saidun Khadija tu Aliyun Sofiya tu Abbasun Rukaya tu Okay, so masculine pr proper noun will have a tanwin, uh, but the feminine proper noun will not take tanwin. Let's have a pro uh, practice on this. Read and write with mentioning the ending, ending of the words. That means you have to give the haraka at the ending. Hami dun. Masculine word, masculine name, proper noun. Zainabu, Aminatu, feminine proper noun. Ammarun, Saidun, Fatimatu. Uh, here you can put another comma, okay? Maryamu, feminine. Aliyun, masculine. Khalidun, Abbasun, Aishatu. Muhammadun, Safiyatu, Khadijatu. Okay, so if you see the names without haraka, and when you try to read, just make sure if it is the masculine name, masculine proper name, you have to end with Tanween. If it is a feminine proper name, then you have to end with single Dhamma, okay, without Tanween. Section B. In this section, we are going to learn two things. Um, sorry, three new things. First one is two more harful jar. Two more harful jar. Article of jar. Two more. Article 
of jal secondly uh we have learned the pronoun he and she here inshallah we will learn i and you pronoun two more pronoun so now thirdly we are going to learn uh two verbal two verbs two verbs i hope so far we have learned all uh, nouns right we haven't learned any verbs uh, basically right if you look at this uh, book 1 they mostly focus on nouns okay uh, nouns and it related rules book 2 and book 3 uh, they will book 2 they will step in to verbs then book 3 and all together advanced book okay but in book 1 uh, all the lessons right mostly dealt with nouns and nominal sentence uh, although is a nominal sentence is dealing with a nominal sentence we can find four or five verbs okay uh, in this lesson we are going to learn two verbs okay so first one two more particles what is that min min ila okay i tell you why mina okay but actually the particle is min mim and nun min ila min means from from we are reading right a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim a'udhu billahi minash shaitan min from shaitan minash shaitan means from shaitan ila is to or till to or till or towards these two are harful jar so we have to give kasra to the following noun secondly i ana ana means i pronoun anta means you is the first second ana means i pronoun anta means you anta means you and the two verbs uh, we can learn in the later part of this lesson okay then how come the min become a uh, mina uh, mina okay if alif lam if sukun followed by alif lam then you have you have to change the sukun to min to mina okay minal baiti if min followed by alif lam you have to say minal baiti like min minas shaitan right minas shaitan a'udhu billahi minas shaitan but if you look at the qul a'udhu birabb nas min sharril waswas min sharrin because there is no alif lam there so we are reading as min sharril waswas from the evils of min okay min sharril waswas if min is fo followed by alif lam then you have to change the min to mina al baitu the house min al baiti from the house from the house why min becomes mina if min followed by alif lam we have to change the sukun to fataha if followed by nakira like min sharril waswas min sharril waswas here sharr is nakira so we keep as it is min okay min sharril waswas minal baiti is because of the min is followed by alif lam minal baiti from the house al masjidu the mosque ilal masjidi to the mosque to the 
mosque at towards the mosque masjid okay this section is a conversation between a teacher and a student teacher and a student al mudarrisu al mudarrisu the teacher min aina anta from min means where aina where sorry min is from from where you that means from where are you there's no uh, direct translation for is was are where we don't have direct translation in arabic min why here min uh, is a don't have alif lam followed by that's why is a min is a general rule min from aina where anta you pronoun anta is a pronoun you from where you that means from where are you from where are you min aina anta muhammad muhammad replied muhammadun is a masculine proper noun ana i ana i minal you see min become minal because is followed by alif lam so min become a minal became minal minal yabani yabani is a japan if you look at the map of the japan this is the map of the japan al yabanu al yabanu means the japan the japan the japan ana min al yabani why ni is because of harf al jar ana min al yabani i am from japan and then the teacher ask again wa min aina ammarun wa and min from aina where ammar and from where ammar from that means and where ammar is from where ammar is from where ammar is from muhammad replied huwa huwa is a pronoun he so we have learned four pronoun huwa hiya anta ana he she you i okay huwa min as-sini sin means china sini min as-sini he is from china huwa min as-sini al-mudarrisu wa min ayna hamidun wa min ayna hamidun and where hamid is from huwa min al-hind muhammad replied muhammadun al-mudarrisu why mudarrisu is because of alif lam muhammadun is because of tanwin because of is a masculine proper noun huwa min al-hindi hind means india hind hind means india yabanu japan seen china hind india min aina hamidun and where hamid is from huwa min al hindi he is from india he is from india then aina abbasun aina abbasun teacher as al mudarrisu where is abbas kharaja kharaja is a verb okay is a verb it's not a noun kharaja is a verb went out or left went out or exit or left went out not went uh. went out or exited is a past tense verb exited
then the teacher is asking aina kharaj aina dhahaba kharaja means he exited he went out aina dhahaba dhahaba is a second verb so abba sunaina is all names nouns and harf particles but kharaja and dhahaba are verb okay dhahaba is went just went not went out kharaja is went out exited dhahaba is went aina dhahaba where he went so the teacher is asking aina abbasun where is abbas muhammad replied he went out he exited that means he went out then the teacher asked where he went where he went the muhammad replied muhammadun dhahaba ilal mudiri dhahaba ilal mudiri went to went dhahaba same verb went to the headmaster mudir headmaster if it is a college we can say principal okay if it is school then we can say uh, headmaster if it is office we can say director or manager mudir in the office you can change the, the is kind of head of the place if school mudir means headmaster in college we can say mudir means principal in officers we can say mudir is a director or uh, manager okay here we are talking about students a school students madrasa correct so we can translate as a headmaster dhahaba ilal mudiri ben to the headmaster went to the headmaster that means he went to see a headmaster aina dhahaba aina dhahaba sorry aina dhahaba aliyun mudarris al mudarris asking wa and aina dhahaba aliyun where ali went where ali went muhammadun muhammad replied dhahaba ila al mirhadi dhahaba went to ila means to mirhadi mirhal is a toilet mirhal is a toilet he went to the toilet mirhadi is because of ila is harful jar ila is harful jar so we are giving kasra to the following noun ismul majrur okay that's it let's read together we are going to learn three things here two more particles of jar and then two more pronouns i and you two verbs this six points that means totally three points in six words we are going to practice in this page al baitu read loudly al baitu the house minal baiti minal baiti from the house al masjidu the mosque ilal masjidi to the mosque al mudarrisu min aina anta min aina anta from where you from where are you muhammadun ana min al yabani i am from japan ana min al yabani i am from japan al mudarrisu wa min aina ammarun wa min aina ammarun and from where ammar and from where where ammar is from muhammadun huwa min as sini huwa min as sini he is from china al mudarris wa min aina hamidun wa min aina hamidun and where am hamid is from muhammad replied muhammadun huwa min al hindi hind is india india map is here huwa min al hindi he is from india 
المدرس أين عباس أين عباس وارس عباس محمد خرج خرج إسا غوب exited or went out المدرس المدرس أين ذهب where he went محمد ذهب إلى المدير went to the headmaster that means he went to see the headmaster المدرس وأين ذهب علي and where علي went and where علي went أين ذهب علي محمد ذهب إلى المرحاض ذهب إلى المرحاض he went to ذهب means he went to actually okay when you translate we have to translate as a he went to is a masculine uh, she went we can see the uh, I think in next next lesson we will learn how to say she went it's similar to that but with little bit change he went Dahaba, he went Faraja, he went out or he exited is a masculine as we know masculine and uh, feminine is not only in rational but it's applied for irrational nouns in arabic okay ذهب الى المرحاض he went to the toilet تمارين exercises أجيب عن الأسئلة الآتية تمارين exercises أجيب answer عن الأسئلة الآتية about the following questions من أين أنت okay these things I think you can answer it. Min aina anta. I am from so and so country. A anta min al Philippine. <clears throat> you can answer the question. You take it as a homework. Min aina anta. Where are you from? A anta min al Philippine. Philippine is the Philippines. Hopefully, none of you is from Philippine. So you have to say la ana min al. London or England, in Kaltara. England is in Kaltara. London, you can put London, okay? India is Hind. London is London. England is in Kaltara. In Kaltara. England. In Kaltara. In Kaltara. Okay? England. London is just write it as a London. London, London, okay, in a London. Anta min al Philippine. Are you from Philippine? Answer it. Man min Sini. Okay, this one you have to take it from the. Who is from China? Who is from China? Min aina hamidun. Min aina hamidun. Where are you from? Mina, uh, sorry, where Hamid is from? Aina dahaba Abbasun. Where Abbas went? All these answers you can take it from the lesson just now we learned. Adahaba Aliyun ilal mudiri. Adahaba Aliyun ilal mudiri. Is Ali went to the headmaster? If yes, you can put naam. If no, la. Then followed by naam dhahaba aliyun ila so and so place. Okay. You can copy from the lesson. Then here we are uh, just going to practice the harful jar, which we did just before. Yakra waktu maababati awakhilil kalimati. Read and write with mentioning ending, sorry, ending of the words. al ghurfatu default. Minal ghurfati from the room. Minal hammami, from the uh, 
bathroom al mirhadu toilet ila al mirhadi to the toilet al yabanu japan filipino philippines min al hindi from the india ila sini to the china ekra waktu i hope you can also take this uh, as a there are seven sentences i will just go through faster but you can take it as a homework these two okay one and these two min aina fatima tu where fatima is from here min al hindi she is from india kharaj al mudarris min al fasli wa dhahaba ila al mudiri teacher went out from the classroom and went to the headmaster dhahabat tajiru ila dukkani the tajir is a merchant merchant went to the shop kharaja hamidun min al ghurfati hamid went out from the room wa dhahaba ila al hammami and went to the bathroom min man kharaja min al fasli man kharaja min al fasli man who this is man okay man because it's a question how to identify the difference between man or min uh, you have to identify different uh, depends on the place okay since it's a question mark is supposed to be man man kharaja min al fasli who went out from the classroom kharaja talibu min al madrasati the student went out from the school wa and dhahaba ila suqi went to the market suq is market i hope this is a new word a suq market khadija tu min al sini khadija is from china wa khalid nain khalid is min al yabani from japan number 4 exercise 4 da fil faragi fi ma yali harf jarrin munasiban munasiban na uh, is like uh, matching da means put fil faragi in the empty space okay fi ma yali in the following harf jarrin harf jar particles of jar munasiban so we have to fill up the matching suitable munasiban we can say as a suitable or a matching suitable harful jar you have to fill the blanks with the suitable harful jar min is from ila to fi in ala on al kitabu dash maktabi the book is from the table no to the table no in the table mm, might or might not be ala on the table yes is a suitable okay so you have to fill with ala al kitabu ala al maktabi why is a harful jar so we have to give kasra ismul majrur the book is on the table at talibu the student is we can say fill firstly in the classroom fill firstly in the classroom dhahaba hamidun hamid went to the university al jamiatu university to is ila 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 al jamiati kharaj al mudiru the headmaster went out school madrasa to from the school okay min since is a alif lam so you have to say minal kharaj al mudiru minal madrasati headmaster went out from the school dhahaba muhammadun muhammad when seen yaban china you say from china to japan dhahaba muhammadun muhammad went from china to japan then how to fill out 
min min sini ila yabani ila ila yabani muhammad went from china to japan okay and finally the last one al kalimatul jadidatu new words al madrasatu the school al faslu the classroom al hammamu the bathroom al mirhadu the toilet al matbakhu the kitchen al ghurfatu the room al jami'atu the university as suqu the market al yabanu the japan asinu the china al hindu india al filipino philippine al mudiru headmaster or principal or manager here it is headmaster dhahaba went kharaja went out and we also learn four harful jar fi ala min ila fi ala min ila these four are min huruful jarri huruf means particles plural from these four are from harful jar these four are from harful jar alhamdulillah inshallah in next class we will learn lesson 